Okay, in order to make a screenshot for competition, what we're looking for is the very uh, last part of your game. At the end of your game, you get your level, you get your score, how many stars, um, and this is what we want. But we want the whole page because at the bottom corner, the date and the time are listed. I'll show you that in a minute. Uh, look at your text instructions above this link. It will tell you the various labels you may have on your keys to, to print your picture. I had a keyboard um, before where the there were three keys at the very upper right hand corner. The first key was my print screen key and it was abbreviated P-R-T-S-C-R then underneath S-Y-S-R-Q. On my current keyboard those three keys are now located beside my F12 key at the top of my keyboard. So my first key after F12 is my print screen. Push that key and you have a picture of the whole page. Um, you won't see it here, but you go over to the very first, you know, the Windows icon where you start, where it says start your computer. I think you can see that part. You click on there and you go up to the program you use. I use Paint. Then I click on paste and my picture appears. The little box in the corner is to save it, give it a label. This was level 186 I believe. And save it. I like to save it in a JPEG format. I already had done this before. And now you have your picture. As you will see, As I'm going to show you here, you're going to have in the corner your date and time. And that's what we're looking for and is essential for your picture to be accepted. If it doesn't have a date and time, it will not be accepted because we do not know that you have not used a previous picture from an earlier game where you got a higher score. So essentially it's to prevent cheating, which some people do, unfortunately. So that's how we get our screenshot. Um, I'll show you how to load it in just a second. You close out of this. I save my changes. We close out of this and then we're back out our original game. So if you'll just give me a moment, we'll load her up. Now we go to the site that we need to load it to. We're going to use the Bubble Witch Saga fan site. You may have another site you need to load it to. Um, at the very beginning, we write. We don't need to write our name. We already know that's going to be posted. Uh, what we do need to write is where we're from. What country, state, territory, wherever it is you are, you need to write where you're from. I am from New York and the USA. I also want to include my time zone. I'm Eastern Standard Time because we have people competing from all over the world. This will let us know that you have completed your uh, challenge within the period of time that was specified. If you use charms, some people do not, but if you do and some cannot be turned off, you need to list them. Uh, I always use the precision charm even though I can turn that off. I'm just addicted to it. I'm sorry, but what can I say? Um, Charm, precision charm, foresight charm, and I can't type. Whatever. That's what you want to write there. And um, you really don't need to write anything else because everything else comes up. So you want to add your photo, and you click Add Photo, and then you want to go to your file, and we, that was level 186. We open that up, we post it, and everything comes out that's needed.
there we are there's our screenshot your state where you're at time zone terms you use you blow it up by clicking on it and your date and time is shown in the corner you don't have to write that line in. I did that to show you where it was located now if for some reason the level does not show up and that has happened in some of our competitions only the score will show up if the level does not show up I'll t I'll show you what you need to do you have to go back into your game so give me a moment here Okay, so now we start again. So basically you have to go back into your game. To level 186. to the beginning of the game and at the beginning of the game it does show your level 186 it shows your score and if you go to the right your name will be listed with the matching score showing as far as what your last it shows what your last score was here and there when you take a screenshot of this it too will show the date and time and you submit this in addition to your other screenshot and the two of them combined together will verify that it is the same game and what your score was. And that's about it. If you have any questions, uh, make a post or send a private message or something to ask us. There is text above this link that should help with any additional questions. Thanks.